guys this is Ayushi Vashne from Intellirize Exhalation. In the last video we have created a project in Visual Studio and have a lot of knowledge about the what an API is. Now we will design database for this API. Uh, so for designing the API uh, first of all open the SQL Server Management Studio in which we will be creating a database and suppose uh, we will design the API for user registration. So our database should be according to, the, uh, to our API. So we'll create database for user registration. So after opening the SQL server, first of all, we will get connected to this SQL server. And in the object explorer window, and uh, if you guys can see this window, then you can add from this view section, object explorer window, and then in the databases, right click on that and create a new database and let's say the database name is user registration db okay user registration db and we click on ok database will be created and then we we'll expand this databases and this is the database which we have created. Now we'll write the query for this database. And we'll create the table for this uh, database. And in this table, all the info which on which we'll be working will get stored. And get API, we'll leave this info. So first of all, create the table. Create table. This is the syntax for creating the table. And then table name. Let's say table name is registration and the parameters of the table, which means columns of the tables, attributes. So suppose we are having six attributes. First is username. And uh, let's say the data type is square cap. 100, this is the limit. Second is email, square cap. This is also 100. Varchar is similar to string. In databases, we use varchar instead of string. And the next is password. Varchar. This is suppose 100. And the next is DOB. This data type is date. And the gender. Varchar. Let's see. 20 is enough for gender and then the last one is address three hundred. after this one more thing very important thing we should keep in our mind that, that for creating the table each table should have a primary key so let's say id is the primary key which will be of int type and we will auto increment this by writing the identity 1 comma 1 means this will start from 1 after that we will execute this query after the completion if we we'll refresh our database we will see by expanding the database and tables the registration table is created we select this this is the schema of our database. You can also see the design. This is the table which we have created. Now we have to integrate in this our API. So let's get back to the my first API project and uh, right click on the project name and click on add and then on new item and in the data section click on ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Here the name, let's say user and uh, enter. After that, select EF Designer from database and then next, we will serialize a new connection and uh, the server name, you have to write here your server name. This is the server name I am having on the notepad. I just copy paste this.
After that, we will select the database which we have created, user registration DB. And we we'll click OK. Here, this is the user registration DB entity. This is the connection string name which we have to remember for using an API. And the next. And here, this will ask which database objects do you want to include in your model. So, we want to only include the tables. So, we click on this and finish. So, now the our project is having that database. But means we can operate on this on the database using some link queue operations in our API. We can see that one class will be added in our API which will contain the table use the database which we have created so this is how you can integrate the database so this is user.edmx this is the table which we have created containing the seven parameters in which id is the primary key so this is how you can create how you can integrate database and create database I hope you like this part of coding. For more updates, stay tuned to Intel Thank you.